Is that an anomaly? No, it's an anemone. In this video, I'll explain what an anomaly is, how to spot them in tables and graphs, and what to do about them. First, can you spot which of these divers is the odd one out? It's this guy. Three of them were diving, whereas he did an almighty belly flop. This video isn't about belly flopping, but anomalies. And an anomaly is defined as something that deviates from what is expected. So spotting anomalies is like playing spot the difference. So how do you play spot the difference with a results table? First, you have to do at least three repeat readings. Then you compare the numbers on each row, looking to see if one number is different from the other two. In this first example, 9.8 and 10.1 are close together, and 6.1 is quite different. That makes it an anomaly. When you spot an anomaly, highlight it and add a key. Later, when you calculate the mean, you'll ignore any anomalies you found. Let's look at some different examples. In this next row, 23.0 and 23.1 are close together, and 21.2 is the odd one out. In the third row, all three numbers are close together, so there's no anomaly. The fourth row is a tricky one. All the numbers are spread out. In this case, what we do is we compare the highest and lowest number to the number in the middle. 40.2 and 45.1 are about 5 apart, and 45.1 and 49.2 are also about 5 apart. So in this case, they're evenly spread, so again, no anomaly. In the final row, 50.3 is the anomaly, because it's significantly different from the other two, which are close together. So now let's do it for graphs. We will start with an experiment to see how T affects happiness. <sighs> this time, we're comparing the points we plotted to the line of best fit. For this first graph, most of the points are very close to the line, but one of them is different, it's much further away. It's an anomaly. On a graph, we circle the anomalies and add a key. For this next graph, the line of best fit is a curve, not a straight line. Most our points are very close to the line, apart from one, and that one that's different is the anomaly. Not all your graphs are gonna be as simple as the first two examples. Here's one that's really tricky. Is it a curved line of best fit? Is it a straight line? It's hard to tell. I think the best fit is a straight line like this one. A lot of the points are quite far from the line, and there's not one that's particularly different from the others. So in this example, there's no anomaly. To summarize, finding anomalies is playing spot the difference. On a results table, you're looking for a number that's different from the others, and on a graph, you're looking for a point that's particularly far from the line of best fit. Happy hunting!